Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Duty Boy and welcome back to my Minecraft survival world. On the previous episode, we built the Guild of Knowledge. The Guild of Knowledge is really a giant library full of librarians. Two levels of librarians with whom I can trade for anything, basically any enchantment I want. And in the episode before that, we built the Farmer's Guild. The Farmer's Guild is a farmer trading hall. It is basically a place where I can trade melons and pumpkins almost endlessly as they are pumped up from a melon and pumpkin farm below the surface everything all the melon slices and pumpkins are pumped up to here and this place has made me rich after building these two famous guild halls i am ready to keep going but the fact is i am kind of tired <laughs> I am tired of building these big projects. So today I want to do something a little bit easier and I want to have some fun. So as you remember, like on previous episodes, I told you that uh, after we started getting villagers here and we started having them breed and uh, populate the area, well, mainly underground, uh, we started getting cats here. I did, I'm not sure why I'm standing on the whip pile, but yeah, so these are my cats. Uh, I don't have names for them yet, and I'm about to rectify that. So I have an anvil, and I'm going to plop it down here, and I've got a pretty good idea what I want to name this orange fellow here. He's actually red, I guess. I think that's what you call a cat that's this color. This cat looks very similar to a cat that an online friend of mine just adopted from a rescue shelter, and he's been so happy to have his cat at home. So I'm going to name this cat the same as he named his cat. We will be naming this cat Jack. Hello Jack, welcome to the game. You are a permanent kitty here now. You may roam free. Now this kitty I like. This kitty is very similar in appearance to my real life cat. My real life, hey watch it J Jack. Jack, quit pushing Dita. Be nice to Dita. All right, so as I was saying, this cat looks very similar to <laughs> Jack Behave. So this, this cat looks very similar to my real life cat. And my real life cat's name is Dita. However, uh, this cat has a yellow eye and a blue eye, I guess. And my cat has a blue eye and a green eye. So I would like to make this cat look a little bit more like my cat. So to that end, I have changed the, <laughs> the icon for my resource pack, which is this one, the duty pack here. Th that's actually Dita's face. That's a photo of my cat, Dita. And she is now the icon of my texture pack. Uh, as you can see, she's got a blue eye and a green eye, just like I said. And uh, I've done some things in my texture pack that should allow me to bring her into the game. So I believe, if I've done this correctly, that I should be able to change this name tag to Dita. <gasps> and look at that. It has a, it's, a, it's a special name tag with a white tail on it. Okay, okay. So now... If I use this name tag on this cat, it should change her in appearance to look like Dita. Ready? <gasps> it worked! It worked! It's Dita! It's my real life cat Dita! And she's in the game! Oh, I love it. Oh, that's amazing. That is so much fun. Come on, Dita, you don't have to hide in the garden. What is Jack doing? Come on, Jack. So today what I'm going to build here is a stables. And I think it'll be a nice, easy project. Uh, just be above ground. And there won't be any farms involved. I don't have to build a melon and pumpkin farm or a sugarcane farm before I get going. I've got a couple of horses. One is this horse who's uh, who's tethered to the uh, to the wagon here. He's actually kind of gotten out a little bit. I like him to I like him to actually kind of stand there in between these uh, in between these little posts. Kind of looks like he's pulling the cart. The reason I have him pulling the cart is he's kind of a slow horse. He uh, he's slow in speed, and I haven't given this horse a name yet. So uh, if anybody has an idea for a name for this slow brown horse, uh, I'm ready to hear it. Would you like a golden carrot? You can't feed them? Oh, there you go. Yes, now he's now he's happy and he's well fed. What are you guys doing? You're gonna, you're gonna you, you don't want me to open my chest. Oh, thanks a lot, Dita. You you know what? You, I should have left you in real life. You're you're acting just the way you act in real life, and now you're acting the same way in my game. And then we have this beautiful horse with uh, white spots. He's quite a bit faster than the other horse who I tied up to the uh, wagon way over there. I don't have a name for him yet either. So if you have a good name for this faster 
beautiful brown horse. Please post it down in the comments. Jack, Jack, you, there, there he goes, bullying a horse again. Hello, horsey. Would you like a golden carrot? There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Dita. Dita. Come on, Dita. But before we get started with the stables, I have one more order of business. As you can see, I've got some netherite scraps. That's right. I have been headed over to the nether and I have been mining deep below the surface of the lava lake. And I have used a whole bunch of TNT to blow out the uh, area under there. And I found enough ancient debris to craft up 14 netherite scraps. So now, as you know, if we go to a crafting table, we are able to use gold and this, uh, well, I thought you could put these together in order to make an ingot. Here's, how do you do it? Okay, so how many netherite? <gasps> I can make three netherite ingots. That means I can turn three pieces of my diamond equipment into netherite equipment. Nice, there they are, my first three netherite ingots. Jack, Jack, stay off the counters. I, you're so poorly behaved, Jack. He's not like my friend's cat at all. All right, so the question is, which piece of equipment am I going to change into netherite? So normally I would do like my sword or my pickaxe first, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think that either one of these are going to be my favorites. Uh, this is an efficiency four silk touch pickaxe and I cannot upgrade it further, so it will literally never be an efficiency five. So I don't think I'm gonna use one of my netherite ingots on that. And this sword is a good sword. It's a sharpness five sword. It is fire aspect. It uh, has looting three, but, and frankly, this sword is never gonna be my favorite sword as long as it doesn't have sweeping edge. Uh, and I can't upgrade this sword any further either. So I'm thinking, I mean, you know, the Sufficiency 5 Mending Axe would be a good candidate. This helmet though, this helmet is amazing. Look at this, uh, Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Thorns 3, Aqua Affinity, Respiration. This is a great helmet. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to, as is, we're going to uh, use a Netherite Ingot and I've got a smithing table in here, so all we have to do is put the helmet in here and one of my ingots in here, and boom! I get a netherite helmet. Check it out. Yes, I love it. I thought I was gonna get an achievement for this. I'm gonna look at achievements. I love the way the netherite helmet looks. It's just so, I don't know, barbarian? <laughs> all right, so now what else are we going to do yeah, so again, these boots, also really great. So I'm going to make these into netherite boots. Yes, very nice. Okay, and then these uh, these pants also. There we go. Okay, so now we've got netherite leggings and a diamond chest plate. Okay, so obviously, uh, you know, more work to be done, but it's really coming along, don't you think? All right, guys, here is the floor plan I am liking. These are just so easy to build. They're just so simple. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've, like, I've almost got it done already. So we're gonna have uh, two compartments here for horses. I mean, seriously, I don't need any more than two horses. Mixed pallet of blocks, which I've already sort of used. We've got a couple of hay bales and we've got barrels at the base of each of the pillars in the front. And then we've got this trough right here out front for the, uh, so I could bring the horses out here and they can drink from it. And then over here, this is not gonna be another horse pen. Instead, this is going to be the base of a loft that's going to go up there a little bit because I grew an oak tree behind here and now it is a giant mega oak tree. And I kind of like it, I like the idea. It basically sort of gives me something to build against. Uh, so I will be raising this area up, but it, and it kind of will be going up against the tree there. So this area will basically just have a loft with a second story with uh, storage. So what do you think? I think it's gonna work out okay. What do you think, Jack? Where's Dita? Dita, what are you doing? You just napping? This is just like, I. this is exactly like my cat at home. I always like find her on my bed napping. All right, I'm just gonna raise up the rest of it then. 
And welcome back guys. I have some bad news. I recorded a replay and it's corrupted. Wouldn't be, wouldn't have been much of a replay anyway. It only took me about 30 minutes to finish up this build. So what do you guys think? This is the stable. Uh, I did spend actually quite a bit of time on the roof. The way I've achieved this is that these are stairs and slabs with stairs and slabs on top. And then I ran Little bands of trapdoors and dark oak over the top of some stripped oak logs with uh, oak planks in between just to show some texturing. What do you guys think? Up here we've got a loft. It's not really a loft. It really is more of an upper level storage room made out of sandstone and smooth sandstone. Let's go up there and take a look. Of course over here is a little storage. We've got leads in here and we'll put other stuff in the other chests as needed. And then we have more storage up here and a nice view of the ocean. Very quickly, I wanted to jump up here and show you this rooftop. I actually did spend quite a bit of time on this roof and it came out so nice. So it is seriously just slabs, dark oak slabs, and they go in a nice little dome shape on every side. And then just like I mentioned, I cut into the tree here. <laughs> Dita, wait, how did you get up here? So anyway, uh, I did use my shears to carefully cut the oak tree leaves off there and then I use screenshots to help me put it back together after I had got the entire roof assembled. Tell me guys what do you think about this rooftop? Would you like to see a block by block tutorial of this build? So that's going to do it for me today. Cutting it kind of short aren't I? I do hope you enjoyed this episode though. Uh, Dita, Dita, come here Dita. Where, what are you doing? Dita, come back into the game. Jack, come on. Come over here for a photo. All right, guys, I am so happy to have my kitties in the game with me and a nice place for my horse to uh, relax. I guess I'll have to get him some company. Get another horse in that second stall there. And we're going to go head back to the nether and we're going to mine for more netherite. But until the next time, I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, let's go for a ride, horsey. Come on. Come on, everybody, let's go. Come on, Dita, let's go. Let's take a ride around the property. Looking good. Wow, this place has really come along. I like it.